Hi everyone, I'm Gail. Welcome to this summer solstice celebration. So the sun is the center of our solar system. Uh, the solstice marks the longest day of the year. So we're thinking of light and heat and energy. Um, we're gonna do some practices that'll get us really kind of warmed up and fiery. We'll do a lot of sun salutations and just also thinking about our solar plexus, our third chakra, which has that sun kind of energy. It's the center of our digestion, which needs a lot of fire to, um, to work properly. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun and I'm happy that you're here with me today, joining in this celebration. So let's start by closing our eyes. And imagine feeling the sun's rays on your skin. Imagine that every time you breathe in, you're lighting up with the fullness of the sun. So a big inner expansion. And when you exhale, you're softening, letting go. And just let, imagine the sun melting any tension that you're feeling right now. I should say any excess tension. So we need some tension to be able to sit upright but we don't need to have our shoulders pulling up by our ears or the space between our eyebrows like furrowed in lines. So just think of the heat of the sun, the brilliance of the sun, wiping away any excess unnecessary tension that you may be carrying. And just gently open your eyes and let's come into a position where we're sitting back on our heels. So you're always welcome to place a yoga block or a bolster or a blanket or a pillow underneath you if this feels like a little bit too you know, uncomfortable on your knees. We're gonna start by moving, like thinking of the, the path of the sun. So watch your hand as you reach your left arm up and then twist looking behind you bringing your hand down, and then as it comes forward, switch sides. So reach the right arm up, forward, back, twisting, looking behind at your thumb, and just keep repeating that pattern, imagining the cycle of the sun, the movement of the planets around the sun, and just the general shape of the sun, big circle. I'm sure it's more than that, but that's kind of how we tend to see it. One last time on this side. So we're gonna add on this time. So reach your left arm forward, follow your, your thumb, reach your hand behind you. And when your hand lands, lift your hips up, reach the opposite arm over and across. And lower your hips back down. And we'll repeat on the right side. So circle your arm up and back, place your hand down, reach your arm up and across. And we come back to center. And we'll keep repeating that pattern two more times each side. Adding a little lift. Even working the eyes here, stretching the eyes to keep looking at our thumbs. Just imagine that you're following the light as we circle around. Last one. And let's come back onto our hands and knees and tabletop. And first just swirl your body, swirl your hips, swirl your shoulders. Just get everything moving. And then imagine you were circling your ribs around the sun. So circling your ribs in a big circle moving nice and slowly so you can feel all the different parts of the circle. And reverse the direction. And come back to center and we'll begin some cat cows. So as you inhale, lift your tailbone up, shine your heart forward. 
arc through your spine. And as you exhale, reverse it, rounding the spine, spreading the shoulder blades apart from each other. And come back to that nice, beautiful arch. And glide back and forth. Feeling a nice, easy movement. And sit back on your heels again. And we're just going to place our hands right over our solar plexus, right over the belly button area. And then we're going to do like a little massage on our solar plexus. So move your hands down the left side, across to the right, up the right, across to the left. Just a nice, soft and gentle massage. You could close your eyes if you want. And then just rest your hands on your thighs and feel like the afterglow of that movement on your solar plexus. Now we'll do a pranayama practice called Breath of Fire. Well, we're just focusing on the exhales, but it's a a sharp, strong exhale so that the inhale just naturally occurs. We don't really have to even think about the exhale. So it goes something like this. So you're pumping your belly and trying to breathe through your nose. And you can, um, if you, this can be very powerful for warming us up from the inside. But if you start to feel dizzy at all, then you can just stop and, um, and wait until you feel good again. We'll do three rounds about 10 to 15 breaths per round. So we'll begin together. Take an inhale and then exhale. Good, and relax for a few breaths. Let's go for 20 breaths this round. So take an inhale and exhale. And relax. Notice if things are kind of pumping and circulating a little bit stronger. And feel your breath now. Feel if there's a little more awareness of your breath. Let's go one more round again for 20 breaths. So inhale and exhale. Nice and relax. Okay, let's come back onto our hands and knees and this time tuck your toes. Come on into plank and just start to rock forward and back on your toes. And then we're going to do uh, some movements that are really going to heat us up. So pick your right leg up and then bend your knee, pull your knee in towards your chest and step it back and pull it in, stretch back. So exhale in, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back. Again, two more of these. Building up some heat. And I'll do the other side. So reach your left leg up. And exhale, pull in. Inhale, release. Exhale. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, in. And we'll keep going for five more reps. So five, four, three, two, and one. Rest back and downward facing dog. Just kind of swirl around here. Now we're going to do basically the same thing but switching sides. So right knee comes forward and then the left knee forward. And just switching back and forth. Exhaling as you draw your knee in. Inhaling as you straighten it out. 
Hopefully you're feeling some heat now. I know I am. Good. And rest on your knees. Take a little rest in child's pose. Come on back up and we'll do one more set. And there's an option to move a little faster, kind of jump in between your hops, more like you're running. Or you can continue moving the way we just did, just kind of a little more slowly, more like walking. So stretch back into plank. Take an inhale and exhale. Do five more each side. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Take a little rest in child's pose. And inhale, round your spine forward. Keep coming all the way forward until you can lower your hips down. Pulling the shoulders back, opening up, cobra. Lifting your heart up toward the sun. Melting your thighs into the earth. And then extend forward with your chest as you lower all the way down. Then inhale, curl up through your back, round up through your back. And then arch through your spine. We'll just repeat those soft flowing motions. Good. And stretch back into downward facing dog. Nice long stretch through your spine. And bend one knee at a time, reaching out through the opposite heel. Keeping your belly strong and lifted. Look towards your hands and step hop or float forward. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. Exhale, bow. Lift and spread all your toes. And think of sprinkling down each toe one at a time, like rays of the sun. You know how little kids draw the sun? It's like those little sun animations, so like your toes are rays of the sun. And then imagine the sun underneath your arches, lifting the arches so they're nice and strong, rooted. Press into the earth, inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. And just take a moment here to connect to the earth, to feel the energy of the sun welling inside of you. Heel toe your feet out so they're quite a bit wider than your hips. And reach your arms up. And we're going to do big circles like we're circling the sun. So reach out to the right, over across to the left. And reach up toward the sky. And switch. So we're just circling in one direction. But really imagining this fullness this brightness, the energy of the circle. And let's switch directions, circling in the opposite direction. Warming up the spine, one more circle. Come back to center. Heel toe your feet in as you bring your hands together in front of your heart. Come to face the front of your mat if you're not already. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. Lift your chest toward the sky. And exhale, forward fold. Place your hands down. Step back into plank. You can keep your knees lifted or lower them down. And lower your Body to the floor, hips to the floor. Point your toes, engage the legs, curl up into your cobra. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes. Press back, downward facing dog. On your inhale, sweep your right leg up. And on your exhale, step forward to your hands. 
Rotate the back heel down and in for warrior one, rise up. See if you can square your hips towards the front of your mat, but make sure your back toes aren't pointed out too much to the side. So you don't want to feel any torque or pressure on your knee. Then melt your back heel into the ground so it feels connected to the earth and shine your front knee forward and reach up Lift your heart up toward the sun. And then lift the back heel up. Rotate your foot so it's open, coming into warrior two. Maybe go just a little bit deeper in warrior two so it feels a little more fiery, a little more energetic. You're challenging yourself. So that would be this back hip being a little bit lower, this front thigh being a little bit closer to the ground. Then extend, imagine you're just shooting sparks out from your fingers. Inhale, reach up and back. Reverse your warrior. Come back through warrior two, straighten your front leg, pull your hips back and reach forward. Triangle pose. Gaze up toward the sky. Bend your front knee forward, reach forward through your fingertips. Come on back up through warrior two, reach back, reverse your warrior and windmill your arms step back down dog and take a few breaths here on your inhale sweep your left leg up draw your knee into your chest step your foot all the way forward rotate the back heel down and in warrior one rise up Again, melt your back heel into the earth, really connecting to the earth. And shine your front knee forward. Left knee comes forward. Lift up through the back of your shoulder blades, opening up your heart, reaching your heart toward the sky, toward the sun. And then lift your back heel up, open up warrior two. Make any little adjustments that you need to. See so if you can find a little fire in your warrior two. Like take it a little deeper, if that feels okay for you and reach up and back, reverse your warrior, come back through warrior two, straighten your front leg, reach forward, triangle pose, trikonasana. Gaze up toward the sky. Bend your front knee, reach your top arm forward for side angle. Come on back up, warrior two, reach back, reverse your warrior. And windmill the arms. Step back, downward facing dog. Lower your knees to the floor. Circle your hips. Stretch your left leg back. Lift your leg up, bend your knee. Shift your weight into your right hand. Reach back with your left hand for your left foot. And kick your foot back and your chest forward. Lifting your knee away from the floor. Finding a nice big arch through your back. Now release your foot, but keep it lifted. Plant your left hand down. Switch to your right hand reaching back. And again, kick back with your foot, chest forward. And release. You can just shift your hips from side to side here. And stretch your right leg back. Shift your weight into your left hand. Bend your right knee. Reach back with your right hand for your right foot. Kick your foot back and your chest forward. Find the fullness, like the fullness of the sun. And then release your foot. Keep your foot bent and lifted. Switch your weight into your right hand, reach back with your left hand for your right foot. And again, kick your foot back, reach your chest forward. See if you can find that inner lift, inner brightness. And release your foot, stretch back, downward facing dog. Look towards your hands and hop or step forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. 
exhale bow. Lift and spread all 10 toes. Lower them down with the toes spaced apart from each other. Engage through your feet so your arches lift. Press down into the tripod of your foot. Rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Pause for a moment here. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up. And then your exhale, forward fold. Step back into plank. Bend your knees, shift your feet till they're facing to the left. Stack your left foot on top of your right foot. Lift your hips up nice and high. Reach your arm over your ear. Creating a nice arch. And then just slide your left foot off your right foot and open up. Wild thing. And come on back into your plank pose, into your down dog. We'll do wild thing on the left side. So pivot your feet, toes facing to the right. Push into your left hand. Lift up through your hips, reach your right arm over your ear. Lift your hips high like they're being pulled upward by the sun. And then you can just slide your foot off behind you. Open up. And then come back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale lower down. Inhale curl upwards. Cobra. Think of that curve extending from your toes all the way up through the crown of your head. Exhale, lower down. Downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. This time, bend your knee, open up the hips, stack the hips, reach your toes towards the top of your head and your head towards the toes. And square your hips. Step your foot all the way forward. This time, keep the back heel lifted and rise up, crescent lunge. Again, lift up through your heart. Imagine that your chest is reflecting the sunlight. Then open up your arms as you reach your arms back, reach your chest forward, reach your weight forward, press off your back foot and float up into warrior three. We'll hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Step it back, warrior two, open up the back foot. Maybe bend a little bit deeper into your warrior two and reach back, reverse your warrior. And come back through warrior two, straighten the front leg, reach forward triangle pose. This time, bring the left hand down, hop the left foot forward a little bit, turning the toes more forward. Pull your right hip back. We're going to come into Revolve Triangle. You'll find your twist. Try and keep rooting back through that back heel. Extend long from your tailbone out through the crown of your head. And lower your right hand back down. Step forward, coming into Half Moon Pose. Open up the hips. Just take your time to find that fullness. A little bit of fire here. The moon, we see the moon because it's a reflection of, from the light of the sun. And lower your top hand down. Step back, downward facing dog. So from downward facing dog, we'll work on the left side now. So inhale the left leg up. Exhale, stack your hips, bend your knee, try and touch your head with your toes or just imagine that happening. It's not going to happen for me, that's for sure. But then square your hips and step your foot all the way forward. Coming into crescent lunge, rise up. Keep lifting up through your heart. 
Then spread your arms out to the side. Start to reach forward until you can float your back leg up, coming into warrior three. Really stretch out through that top leg. Nice and strong. We'll hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Step back, open up warrior two. Reach back, reverse your warrior. Come back through warrior two, straighten your front leg. Reach forward, triangle pose, trikonasana. And lower the right hand down, hop the right foot forward a little bit, turning the toes more forward. Pull your left hip back. Revolve triangle, open up. Nice, lower the top hand down, step forward into half moon pose. Think of brightening up here. You are a reflection of the sun. All that energy. And lower your top hand down, step back, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward and come on into a squat. Lower your hips and lower all the way onto your backs. Hug your knees into your chest and just gently rock around on your hips. And open your knees apart, coming into happy baby. Gently rock side to side. Release your feet to the floor for bridge pose. So lift and spread all 10 toes again, lower them back down, engage with your feet. Keep pressing down until your hips just start to float up. And press down a little bit more. See if the hips will rise a little bit more. Keep your knees hugging in towards each other. And then Think of spreading the shoulders apart as you lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way down into the earth. And hug your knees into your chest. Lower your feet to the floor as wide as the mat. Arms out to the side. And just start to twist from side to side. And hug your knees into your chest again and stretch out for Savasana. Just let everything relax. Let your body melt into the earth. Feeling a sense of deep relaxation. Begin to bring some gentle movement into your fingers and toes. And pull your knees into your chest. Hold the back of your legs. And just a little bit of gentle rocking back and forth. And then we'll rock all the way up to seated. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you feel light and bright and full of celebration for the sun. Uh, please leave me a comment below and hope to see you again soon. Bye.